Well, welcome back to Steve Rob Reviews. Today, we're gonna to put the uh, rolled roofing on the uh, garden shed here. I'm gonna show you the product that I use, but first, I just thought I'd let you know, after about 30 years, I'm retiring this old plastic <laughs> square and went with this uh, metal one here. Guys, <laughs> this is 10 times better. And uh, yeah, this one here, guess what? Not very good to use on steel, especially hot steel. It melts. Okay, so let's get on to it here. This is the uh, the roofing material. I've showed this in the past here. This brand right here. I get this at Home Depot. It comes in a big roll. And it's only for the valleys on a house. But I use it for the whole roof when I'm building a flat roof. And for the first time in my life, I'm going with this. This is the uh, OSB. Uh, five, let me see now, uh, seven sixteenths, it's seven sixteenths, and I was going to put on half inch plywood, I was over at my Home Depot, and I'm talking to a buddy of mine there, I've met him there so many times, I'm over there so often, I know a lot of the contractors, and, uh, he said, uh, you want me to give you a hand with that plywood, because, you know, I got to pull the sheets off there, right, so he said, what are you using them for, so I told him, he goes, no, 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 this is what you want to do, go with this stuff, now he's telling me, the 7 sixteenths has twice the shear strength as the uh, half inch plywood. Now this stuff here, 17 bucks a sheet, plywood, $32 a sheet. He said, go with that, what you're doing is fine. So I said, okay, I notice one side is kind of textured and the other side is kind of smooth, right? So I said, what side do you put up? He goes, well, it doesn't really matter. The shear strength is the same, except if you've got like a steep roof or something, you don't want the shiny side up, it's too slippery to work on. But uh, either side is fine, so I decided to go with the shiny side up because it's fairly a flat roof. So I've got this rolled roofing here, and I got one layer of it up on the roof right now, just sitting there, letting it get flat in the sun. And what I've done is I've got a couple of clamps and small little pieces of wood. So I lay it out exactly where I want, and then I clamp it down, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I'm going to prop you up on the ladder I got out here. <laughs> We're going to see how this goes. And we'll see if, uh, if you like this idea of roofing. Now, I can't recommend this roofing material. I've only been working with this for about maybe three years, maybe four years tops. So far, it's been working out fine. But uh, there's a lot of reasons why I like to use this. I'll explain it at the end here. But let's go outside and let's take a look and see what I got going on. Okay, you can see right there, I've got the rolled roofing on there. And I got it folded back in half. And I'll just pan across here like this. And you can see I got the clamp on the end here. So let's, uh, I'll just show you how this works and then we'll, uh, we'll see how easy this is. Okay. Just peel this back. Okay, now we'll just lift it up, roll it over. There she is. Now I'll go down there and roll the rest down. Okay. I'm back. I'm just pulling this strip off. Now, I'll go to the center here. I'll pull it down. Let it flop over this side. Man, this stuff is sticky. There we go, just like that. There she is, all done. Well, here's from the bottom, a little shot from the bottom here. And you can see I just got it over about three quarters of an inch. And of course, at the other end, the same. And guys, I tell you what, 
that stuff's not moving nowhere. You just touch your finger on it, it just about pulls your skin off. It's so strong. Okay, guys, what do you think so far? You know what? You get your hands dirty, but uh, hey, you know, having fun when you get your hands dirty, right? Okay, so I just flop it over and uh, peel it off, flop it back, and guys, it goes on so easy and fast, including filming. That was like 10 minutes. So that's one of the benefits of it. And uh, no nails, I won't be using any nails. And uh, it just goes on just like that. Now when you get on the drip edge part, it is so sticky that if it ripples up on the end there a bit when you're flopping over, you better get to it fast because it, you know it, it is so sticky that backside you would not believe. But I do go around, like I say, with my hands and just rub it all nice and flat all the way around. Now I'll take you, take you back when I got the whole roof done and just show you how nice of a job that does. Now you can see there is a strip about this much that doesn't have that uh, granulated kind of asphalt on it. And that's the same as what you have on the back of your shingles, that plastic strip. And when the sun hits it for any length of time, it bursts through and the two rubbers touch each other and just bond. And I, I've tried lifting it up, up at the camp, and, you know, and I tell you what, it's not moving a bit. And I get some wind storms up there like you wouldn't believe. So, I'll finish up the roof, I'll bring you back and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, she's all done guys. I'll just show you the setup I use for getting up on my roof. I just stick a 4x4 up there with a couple of clamps. Ladder's not going to slide off, get up and down easily. Okay, so let's go up the ladder here and let's take a look at this roof. She's all done guys. Okay, there we are. Now it's going to settle, it's going to take a little while. Now as you can see I've got these, uh, these roofing uh, screws and they go right into the drip edge. Every 16 inches all the way around. And there she is guys. Just as simple as that. And uh, I think it worked out great. I just want to show you the advantage of uh, using this system is you don't have all kinds of roofing nails. You know, if you were to use uh, shingles, and shingles aren't the best for uh, a low pitch roof like this. You can get some low pitch shingles, but uh, yeah, there's nothing inside here. No holes going through the deck, anything like that. And that's another big advantage. Well, I hope you like that. Uh, that is, as far as I'm concerned, an experiment. I can't recommend that type of uh, roofing for anybody. For me, yeah, it's just an experiment that I've been doing myself. So far, it's worked out good. And uh, these are the, uh, the screws I'm using here. And guys, they're, uh, they're going, and they got a, like a rubber washer on the inside there. And they're going right into the drip edge. So yeah, it's holding on there big time. Just in case you get like a big tornado or something. And you just drive them in with a little bit, and that's about it. So all I did to cut this uh, roofing material, and it's so easy to cut. Like it's, I would say it's about uh, about an eighth of an inch thick. Exacto knife, and that's it. That's all I used to cut it with. And I just got one of these T squares. Line up a T square, and that's it. And you're done. So the whole roof cost me 80 bucks, including the screws. Where can you do a roof for 80 bucks? Thanks for joining me here today. I hope you like this little bit of a project. Come back again if you haven't seen this channel before. Well, you're welcome to subscribe. Cheers.